Hello everyone, this is AK. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to load and handle the Delta data using Azure Data Factory. Before jumping into the video, you should know about what is Delta data. For example, you have one table in some database. It has five rows and consider it is a streaming data set, which means it will refresh every day. So in the first day, we got five records. Now in the day two, we might able to face three different cases. So the first case is we may receive some extra rows from the source. In case of extra rows, our data pipeline should handle those type of scenarios by inserting the extra rows. And in the second case, we will get updates. For example, we got the five records on the day one and in the day two, we won't get any new records, but we receive some update on the existing records. So our pipeline should handle these type of scenarios by updating the existing records. And in the third case, we might not get any new records or updated records. So in that case, our pipeline should run without generating any duplicate records. Okay. These are the common scenarios which is highly used in data engineering side, especially on the change data capture subject. So in this video, I'm not going to use any streaming data set as my source. It will make you hard to understand and it makes video more lengthy one, which I don't really like. For better understanding of how streaming ingestion works, you should watch this video. In that video, I gave the detailed explanation about how to load the streaming data using Azure services. In this video, I'm going to explain with SQL tables. And I will replicate the change data capture concept in SQL tables by manually inserting the data and updating the data. Before getting into the video, do like, share, comment and subscribe for more videos. Let's get started. I already set up my Azure resources here. To make this concept, I need Azure Data Factory and Azure SQL database. So I already set up those things in the resource group called Delta. First, we need to create two tables. One should be our source table and another one should be our destination table. Open the query editor and create source table and destination table. I created the two tables here. Now I need to insert the records into my source table. Consider this step as a day one. In the day one, we got five records into our source and we should insert the five records into our destination table via data pipelines. Subsequently, our data pipeline should work on day two and day three scenarios as well. Day two and day three scenarios are nothing but the updated records and no records received from the source. So that's all about the data ingestion part. Now let's create a data pipeline in the data factory. There are two ways you can capture the Delta data from the source. First approach is using the timestamps in the source with copy activity. And second one, we can use the data flow activity to capture the Delta data. I already made a video on the first approach. And in this video, I'm going to use the data flow activity. So drag the data flow activity and create the data flow. We need three data flows here. First one, the source. Second one is the alter row. And third one is the sync. I already set up the link services and data sets as well. So source data flow is pointing to the source table in the SQL database and sync data flow is pointing towards the destination table in the SQL database. Main thing here, the alter row data flow. Using this, we can able to capture the Delta data in the source table to configure the alter row, you should go to the alter row settings and in the alter row condition, you should select the upset if option and set the condition as true. That's all. Now we can run the pipeline. Before that, go to the data flow activity and select your current data flow for your data flow activity. I already explained about the three day scenarios. We received five records in the source table already. It is now waiting to be inserted into the destination. The destination has zero records now. Consider today is a day one, we are running this pipeline now. Let's run the pipeline. Look at the destination, we got five records received. So the day one scenario is now complete. And in the day two, I updated some data in the existing source. In the day two, we don't get any new records. 
but received some new changes in the source. So look at the source table. I updated the Paris to Bangalore in the third row. Now let's run the pipeline for the day two scenario, which is nothing but the update. The pipeline runs successfully. Let's check the destination. So see here, we got the data updater. So the day two scenario is now completed. The third day, we didn't receive any updated records or new records. So let's run the pipeline for the day three scenario. So the pipeline runs successfully. Let's check the destination. So see here, we got the same records as day two without having any duplicates. So with that, we can say our three test cases passed successfully on handling the data. So how it is working? There's a concept called upset in data flow. It means if your source data is received any records or updated records, it will either do the insert or update based on the primary keys. For example, in this scenario, our primary key is ID. If we go to the sync, I made my key column as ID. So based on this, it is doing insert or update. Some cases you may have more primary keys. At that time, you should include all the primary keys in the, in the key column. Then only you can achieve the Delta operation. So what happens if you receive insert and update on same day? Let's try it out. I inserted a new record and I updated an old record here. Let's run the pipeline now. So see here, we received the updates and insets based on the primary key. That's all about this video. I hope you understand the concept of Delta loading in data flow activity. If you have any suggestions, please comment it down. I will try to make a video of it. So thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next week.